I live in a big white house at the bottom of a cul-de-sac that has a pool in the backyard and sits in front of a golf course. I am fortunate that I was able to grow from the worst thing that ever happened to me. My name is Graham Wynn. I am 18 years old and I live in Franklin, Tennessee with someone who suffered from depression. When their depression was at its worst, I remember waking up to the sound of crying and screaming. I remember hearing doors slam and instantly I would know something was wrong. Those types of days were normal and I got used to it, but I never imagined that one day I would wake up and the quiet would be worse. On the morning of March 17th, 2018, my dad called me and my two siblings downstairs. He told us that mom had committed suicide. Sometimes it feels like mom died centuries ago, and sometimes it feels like it was just yesterday, me and her were in her car on the way to lunch. Having a parent that suffered from depression was a hard thing to grow up with. Loving them isn't the hard part. The hard part is the constant fear that one day you will wake up and they will no longer be there. It was always just me, my two siblings, and my mom. My dad lived in West Virginia, and we didn't see him often. Me and my two siblings have always been very close. Growing up with mom and then losing mom was something that all of us went through together. This experience was unique to us, and it only brought us closer. We have always lived in this big house in a nice area, but when mom was alive, the house was drastically different. After she died, my dad moved in and the whole house was redone. Her death felt like a reset for all of us. After the summer ended, the house looked like this picture-perfect home. My brother went away to college, and I went to public school for the first time in years. Her death forced all of us out of our comfort zones. Even through all of this, I still could have never wished for a better mom. Even at her worst, she would do everything for us. I realize that she is happier now, and she is at peace. No matter how much I miss her, it brings me comfort knowing that she can now rest and no longer feel the pain she felt when she was still here. The experience of losing her and everything that happened after made me a better person. I have a new perspective on death and how it isn't always the end. My mom left me a suicide letter, which I've decided not to open until I am older and I feel like I am ready. I find peace in knowing that there is still one more thing left for her to say to me.